In this Composer exercise, we learn and practice how to harmonize a four-note motif in order to build it into a full song snippet. This video has three steps you should follow to maximize your results. Learn, apply, and share. Post your end result on my Discord community, become a pro composer to win a cool prize in our giveaway. But more on that in step three. This is the four note melody for this exercise. G, D, C, and F. And I will show you how I turn this melody into multiple useful chord progressions before it's your turn. I'll go for a cinematic hybrid orchestra style, but you can apply this to any genre. Go for whatever sound you like. Step one, learn. First, we have to find harmonies for our simple melody. This step is super crucial for the entire songwriting process because the harmonies that we choose carry large parts of our track's atmosphere. The same melody can be used in arrangements with completely different harmonies for a vast range of emotions and atmospheres. Melodies are powerful and they can become many things. A bit like stem cells if you think about it. Let's look at my two-step formula for creating harmonies for a melody. This is just one way of doing it, but for me this works well and should give you a quick and applicable toolkit. Two questions are important here to get started. First, which note of the motif do I interpret as the root note? And second, which scales or chords contain the notes of the motif? Of course you can get really complex where in fact none of the notes are the root note and you switch between scales and modes faster than some people change their underwear. But we want to focus more on the basics here. The first question helps me find a chord that serves me as a home base. In many melodies, the first note is also the root note and the respective chord. So in our motif, a G would be the root note with a G major harmony. With the second question, I get ideas on how to evolve our motif into a theme with a chord progression. Here are some examples of how we can harmonize our melody. The more experienced you are, the more intuitive the whole process becomes. Let's interpret the first note G as the root note for a second. We then have its fifth interval D as the second note and the fourth interval C as a third note. The fourth note F would be the seventh interval of G. Seventh intervals can evoke a bit of jazziness. We could turn this motif into a bluesy G7 C major F7 theme. We can make the first note G as the root note of a G7 chord, the C note in a C major chord, and the F note as part of a F7 chord. We can also interpret it completely different with the third note C as the root note. All of the notes are part of the C major scale, so we can also opt for the most frequently used chord progression in pop music, 1, 5, 6, 4, which in the case of C major is C major, G major, A minor, F major. I'm sure you've heard this before. But wait! Actually, if we take the C as a root note, all of the notes also fit into the C minor scale. So we can also take this melody into darker territories. Oh! Similarly, we can of course see the G as a root note for the G minor scale, which also contains all the notes of the melody. Which other scale has a G, D, C and F in it? E flat major. Or if you're not so familiar with all the scales, ask yourself which other chord has a G in it? E flat major. Make sure you know the triads of all major and minor chords in all three inversions. This is crucial knowledge for every composer and opens up your palette of writing choices. Having our motif go from G to D in the context of an E flat major introduces a beautiful major seventh harmony. Then the melody goes from C to F. Both of these notes are part of F major, so we can have an E flat major and F major progression. And when the motif goes back to the first note G upon repetition, we'll finally unveil the mellow G minor as our home bass chord, which we mask a bit in the first repetition. When we turn this melody into a song, for the intro, I'll play the first note G as part of the C minor chord, the second note D as the fifth in the G minor chord, 
but I will invert it with a B flat in the bass, so it has a nice descending movement from the C, and then go down in half steps for an F major and F minor chord. I can do that because the last two notes of the motif, C and F, are both part of F major and F minor. They can be either because the third is missing, which indicates if it was an F major with F A C, or an F minor chord with F A flat C. I exploit that fact to switch from F major to F minor for a nice moody sound. Following up with our track, let's switch to harmonization number four, which is pretty much the same descending motion, just starting from G minor instead of C minor. And you know what? Because we ended our descent in the bass notes on an A flat, we have a perfect link now to the G and can keep going down. Now I want to add a huge climax to our song using harmonization number five. Here's my result of using three out of the five example harmonizations and arranging them into one hybrid orchestral track. After listening to the track, we'll go to step two, the absolutely crucial, most important part of this video. So stay with me. Step two, apply. It's your turn. Active recall is the keyword here. Retrieve the knowledge from your brain to make it stick. It's a proven technique and investing the effort to put your skills into practice now will actually save you big time later on. Here's your task. Harmonize the four note melody G, D, C, F into a chord progression and then turn it into a song. You should present the main melody at least once in its entirety and ideally have it remain the main motif of the song. But you can alter and expand it throughout your track and also mix in multiple different harmonizations of it. You can go for hybrid orchestral, but also choose any other genre. Drum and bass, country or Nintendo core. Don't worry too much about structure. It doesn't have to be a coherent masterpiece. 16 or 32 bars of music will be enough to get your point across, even if it's just a part of a song, like a snapshot. Totally fine. So go open your DAW, find chords and harmonies for the four note melody, pick your genre and start assigning notes to instruments. Add a bass line, chords, rhythm and texture and make sure that enough instruments are assigned to the melody to make it stick out. My five harmonizations are just an example. There are many more. 
Think about the two questions you should ask yourself and don't be afraid to experiment. You might come up with something awesome. If you can create an entire track, perfect. But if you're limited in time, it's enough if you focus on a polished 30 seconds of music. Step 3. Share. Now turn your brand new composition into a positive package of social proof. Receive feedback, get inspired by the other submissions and win a great prize along the way. Here's how to enter the giveaway for free and then I'll announce the prize. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can keep producing high-end content for you and organize more and bigger giveaways along the way. Then join the Become a Pro Composer Discord community and upload your track revolving around the four note melody from this composer exercise in the Exercise 2 channel. Minimum 30 seconds of track length. But feel free to hit me with an entire symphony if you want. I'll listen to it. I promise. Keep the file size below 8 megabytes and directly drag and drop it into the channel. MP3 works best for the file size. Join us on the Discord server to chat with like-minded composers, share knowledge and make the most out of your composer journey. We look forward to meeting you. Seven days after this video was published, I will randomly draw a winner from all submissions and inform them on the Discord channel. See the giveaway prize as the cherry on top, but your practice in music writing as the tasty, gigantic and expensive cake below. Cherry or not, if you get to this point, you're already a winner. With that being said, I'm happy to announce that among all composers who newly create and submit one at least 30 seconds long track using and harmonizing our four note melody, I will give away one copy of Cinematic Tools Zenith, the modern trailer archetype that I've also made a review video about with a pretty killer demo at the end. Super usable, high quality samples paired with a simple yet powerful GUI make Zenith essential for an undeniably modern sound that packs a hell of a punch. Show me what magic you can do with those four notes, no matter if you're a beginner or not. I'm waiting for your submission. Good luck and I'll see you soon.